Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out a brand new scooter from Yadea. This is the KS6 Pro, the brand new launched scooter directly, uh, an update for 2023 for their lineup of scooters. The biggest thing that we get in here, there's a lot of improvements in things that people were concerned about in the last generations that provide us a better ride and of course connectivity to the app and longer range. This is TK and this is my review of the KS6 Pro from Yadea. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. And as far as the unboxing experience, it's pretty straightforward. Everything comes in a very nicely packed box uh, that has the name of the, uh, the actual unit itself. When you open up everything else, for the most part, the scooter's assembled about 90%. And what I mean by this is everything's connected. It's just that the handles are not screwed into the top part of the boom. So all you have to do is extend the boom, put the kickstand out first, obviously to set everything on the ground. And then they provide you the screws with the wrench to be able to put the actual screws in there and then position the handlebars on the actual scooter. And from there, you're pretty much set. There's not much else you need to do. Uh, they provide you obviously the charging brick that you can use to charge up your device and of course the battery and everything else is already included and then approximately i would say maybe five or six minutes you're pretty much set and ready to go i do recommend you of course first downloading the application the idea application directly on your device and of course charging it up so that you get a nice uh, i would say basically a full experience of the scooter once you get it out of the box so charge it up get the app and then you're ready to go it is a joy to ride on the scooter. And I'll start off by saying is that the battery that we have here is a 36 volt or a 50.3 amp power battery. Uh, the rated power that we have is about 500 watt, although it does max out at about 800 watt of power, which is basically for the performance that we get in here. And the maximum speed that we get in here in miles is about 18.6 miles an hour. There's three different levels of speed. One that's more consistent of walking speed, so very slow, and then you have a medium speed, and then the top speed takes us straight to 18.6. And you're able to change that configuration by just pressing on the power button once you turn it on and it'll cycle through the different modes that we have. Of course, we can do all of that in the application as well, which is something that's very nice. The max range that we get in here is about 34 miles, what we get there, and that's gonna be kind of a combination of how you use it with the regenerative function directly built in. There's three levels to the regenerative function. Uh, there's the low, medium, and high. The high will give you the best, but you do need to get used to the, the little bit of a regenerative speed, meaning it will slow down and come to a full stop much faster when you release the actual throttle on the actual uh, scooter. Uh, climbing capability here is they're rating it at about 20% uh, grade level. I will say that it was able to handle me with my full self all going all the way up and as i'm showing you guys with some of the footage here there is no issue ipx4 for uh, water and dust resistance so splashing is not going to be any issues and what i love about this is that we not only have a front light but we also have a rear light as well that's configured with the brakes and we have a dual brake on both the front and on the back tires the shock absorbers that we have here we have a fork uh, basically a front fork shock absorbers with the tire configuration that we have and this is going to be in uh, with those 10 inch self-healing tubeless tires which is an upgrade from what we had last year with the ks5 pro now we actually have a much better more ruggedness and again the assistance with the tires to give us some of that cushioning as well as, as well with the suspension with the fork uh, the basically the front fork that we have in there so in the front we have a drum brake and then in the back we have a disc plus electric brake which allows us to have a very good and quick responsive uh, braking system that's not very sharp but definitely gradually stops us as i will show you guys in the quick demo that we have charging time is supposed to be about eight hours so an overnight should be pretty decent and lastly i will say is the basic maximum weight that you're supposed to be able to run on this is about 242 pounds or about 110 kilograms and the last thing obviously is that it's an aluminum alloy body so it provides us a really good sturdy experience and when you're using it it's actually not that heavy it should be pretty easy to be able to carry it and i will let me just sh share with this let's go outside and let's talk a little bit about the ks6 pro and how it rides so we're outside now and obviously we're going to do a quick uh, testing of acceleration and deceleration we have dual brakes on this uh, we have the tires we have the suspension on the front and of course the shock absorption from the tires the biggest thing I'll probably say is there's three basic modes. Uh, there's basically level one, level two, level three, and level three will get us all the way up to about 18.6 miles per hour. Uh, acceleration and deceleration is gonna be basically tested in this. So we're gonna go from one, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Turn, switching between each mode, you just basically press the power button once, tap it, it'll switch between the two. You wanna turn on the lights, you double tap the power button, turns on the light, the same thing, you turn it off. Of course, you can do all of that from the app, but if you don't wanna use the app when you're on the go, this would be a good example. So let's go ahead and take it up and uh, I'm going to accelerate. Now I'm using it at level one. Uh, I am going to... Okay, here we are. We are at level one. I 
feel like level one is really more like walking speed and that essentially is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it once. I'm gonna switch over, stop, let the people pass me. Now we are at level two. Right. Whoops. Now level two definitely had a lot more kick. Uh, keep in mind all the way up to 800 watt uh, for the power push and now we're in cruise mode. When you hit that little beep, good morning, um, you have the uh, cruise control turned on if you set it up in the app. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And this is level two. Very easy, very simple. The stop, we'll go ahead and hit the brake. Very nice. Dual brakes, both sides, and we're gonna go ahead and switch it over to level three. Now level three has a lot of little pickups, so be careful on that one. Again, maximum speed, maximum torque. So when you're accelerating, make sure you're clear. Let's go. And there we are. <laughs> okay, so maximum range of about 30 miles. I think it's like 30 miles or so. Uh, and now that beep means I'm in cruise control. Hope you guys can still hear me. This is a pretty decent experience of going as far as the acceleration. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and press the cruise control on. Actually, let's just let's go ahead and stop. Brake test starting now. And that was an deceleration straight from full speed. I gave it enough time to go to full speed. And this should be a good example of deceleration on the, K, uh, the KS6 Pro. What you saw there essentially is the, the difference between one, two, and three is dramatic. I would probably say is level one is not going to be very strong. It's very mild and it's just to be, basically if you want to be able to run at a very slow speed to get used to the scooter. But you're pretty much going to be living in the second and the third setting, which is sport mode. And that allows you to actually go all the way up to 18.6 miles. But what I would probably say is be careful this has a lot of pickup. If you're not really careful on it and you accelerate to full throttle, even on level two, it may actually <laughs> spin out from under your feet. So you just need to be aware. I do recommend you, of course, wearing a helmet when you're riding the scooter and enjoying your rides on this thing. Uh, the app itself is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, it's available directly on the Google Play Store. You can download it, install it. The configurations and the options that we have in here are pretty much straightforward to, to find out. When you first log into it, it connects via Bluetooth directly into the scooter. So it binds to the scooter and you're able to unlock and lock the scooter directly from there. So if somebody does end up basically pushing it, it won't run as a scooter even. It reduces the uh, function of the rear tire. But as far as the abil ability of changing the, different, the three different ride modes, as well as the three different uh, regenerative braking that you have in there, it's very much very pretty much straightforward. If there is any updates, it'll come through the application and it will push directly into the system. But otherwise, there was really not much else to it. It's pretty straightforward. Once you set it up, you really don't need the app. You just need to press the power button and of course, turn on the scooter. Uh, if you basically <laughs> double press the power button on the scooter itself, it turns on the light and turns it off. And you can also do that directly from the app. I will say though, if you do wanna switch it between uh, you know kilometers and miles per hour, because by default, it's set to be kilometers, you just have to press the button, the power button three times once you turn on the scooter and it'll switch between uh, miles and kilometers. So it's pretty much straightforward. So at the end of the day, what I would probably say it's a comfortable ride it goes for a decent amount now it doesn't go very far i've seen other scooters go very far but you have to kind of keep the experience down to the price point that you're getting here this is where i feel like this is a lot of fun and affordable type of an e-scooter available for either on road or even slightly off road experiences as i'm showing you right there i went on a little bit more of a um, i would say rougher terrain so that i wanted to see how it handled the, the actual uh, texture of the street and it actually did pretty decent. Keep in mind, we have 10 inch tires and we have that fork suspension on the front. And of course the rear suspension is pretty much leveled around the actual tire itself. So otherwise it's pretty straightforward, very easy, nice long bed. And it was able to handle me <laughs> entirely. Um, and it was doing really, really good. Again, going down and uphill, well, going downhill and uphill was not an issue. It does slow down, but it never stopped. So it was able to handle it. And of course, you're getting a chance to enjoy it uh, and do everything that you want there. At the end of the day, I hope that you found that the KS6 Pro fits your needs. It's great, it's nimble, it's fast, and of course, affordable. Like and subscribe as usual, and thank you very much for the support. I'll see you in the next video.